because of potential difference electrons are flowing and current can maintain but now in detail we should discuss what is electric potential and what is electric potential difference see uh, one good example we are discussing for that will so one vehicle is there it is in sangli then in between sangli and kolapur we have jaisingpur consider this one is a straight road so what is the distance in between sangli and jaisingpur consider it is 30 km consider only it is not actually but consider 30 km and jaisingpur to kolapur that is 40 km so the total distance is 70 km and one vehicle is in sangli that vehicle we have to bring to kolapur or jaisingpur suppose that vehicle's average is 10 km per liter if you give 1 liter petrol or that fuel to that vehicle then that vehicle will do the work of 10 km then if you want to bring that vehicle from sangli to jaisingpur then what to do so we have to fill 3 liter petrol within that one so if you are consuming the petrol that means you are consuming the energy you are doing work or not actually you are not doing work that machine is doing work that means to bring something from one point to another point you have to do work suppose you want to bring a basket then you have to go there you have to bring that your muscular energy is using or not you are using or not suppose anything suppose i want to lift this duster then this is a displacement or not before it was on the rest now i have raised it at a height so i have done work so consider this one whatever you want to move from one place to another place you have to apply force and as you are applying force definitely you are doing work and because of your work done there is movement so like this one because of work done of 3 liter so here how much liter 3 liter 3 liter consumption of 3 liter petrol or that fuel will transfer that vehicle from sangli to jaisingpur so 3 liter is considered as a petrol potential of jaisingpur because vehicle is in sangli the vehicle has to bring to jaisingpur how much work done you have done of 3 liter so jaisingpur's petrol potential is 3 liter now see now vehicle is in jaisingpur now you want to bring that one from a transfer from jaisingpur to kolapur distance is 40 km so again how much petrol you want definitely it is 4 liter but see here one example within the first example first we should discuss sangli to jaisingpur but the same vehicle is transferred from sangli to kolapur then it will need 7 liter so what is the petrol potential of jaisingpur 3 liter sangli to jaisingpur 3 liter so jaisingpur's petrol potential is 3 liter then sangli to kolapur 70 km that means 7 liter that means petrol potential of kolapur is 7 liter so like this one consider one more example to understand electric potential see one positive charge or a unit charge what is that unit charge what is unit charge unit charge means one coulomb charge one coulomb charge means how much electrons 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons are at infinity electrons having the negative charge you want to bring that negative charge particles at point a then you have to be apply the force or not don't worry you should not go there not necessary to go there because electric charge or electric electricity is a field force without touching you 
uh, stand up you you are going to stand up not it is also field force because you all students are within my field so you are using my instruction or you are listening my instruction so like this one the positive charge positively charged particles are here the positive body is here and electrons are at inf infinity means very far distance that unit charge is at infinity that means one coulomb charge is at infinity that means 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons are there and you want to bring that electrons at point a then here we have done work or not some lead to this input 3 liter so like this one here some electric work or electric work product we should do so whatever may be the amount of electric work done to bring this one coulomb charge that is unit charge from infinity to point A some liter jaisingpur 3 liter so 3 liter is a petrol potential of a jaisingpur like this one amount of electric work done to carry unit charge from infinity to point A is called as electric potential of point A. Then how will you define electric potential at point A? See how will it be defined. Once again, unit charge means 1 coulomb charge. 1 coulomb charge means 6.25 into 10 is to 18 electrons. Electrons having negative charge. So, opposite charge at point you should apply that is positive charge. Because of this positive charge, all the electrons starts to move. And you have managed to carry this much electrons means one coulomb charge means one unit charge. Then you have done electric work or not. So, how much electric work you have done that is called as amount of work done. That is electric work done. To carry, what you have carried? Unit charge, one coulomb charge this much electron to carry unit positive charge though the charge is negative on electron why should we consider this positive charge because earlier i have explained before invention of electron electricity has discovered and they have considered higher level to level lower level flow of electrons so positive to negative so charge is positive that is considered so we have to consider as it is so unit positive charge from infinity infinity to point a infinity to point a is called electric potential at point a that means samuli to facing then what is samuli to kolapur 7 liter like this one what is the electric potential at point b same amount of work done by to carry what to carry unit positive charge that much electrons from infinity to point B is called as electric potential at point B. Suppose many points are there, within the wire many points are there, one point is D. So how will you explain this one? Simple, amount of work done to carry unit positive charge from infinity to point D is called as electric potential at point D. Suppose point's name is Delhi. Then explain electric potential at Delhi simple amount of work done to carry unit positive charge from infinity to Delhi is called as electric potential at Delhi suppose one point name is donkey so explain or define electric potential at point donkey because I have given the name donkey as to that point simple amount of work done to carry Unit positive charge from infinity to point donkey is called as electric potential at point donkey. Name is not important, concept is important. But see, we have discussed electric potential. But what is potential difference? See now. Sangli to Jaisingpur 3 liter. Sangli to Kolapur 7 liter. Then, what is the difference? I want to carry that vehicle only from Jaisingpur to Kolapur, not from infinity. So that is the difference. 7 liter minus 3 liter that is 4 liter. 
so 4 liter is a petrol difference or petrol potential difference within these two points so like this one we should not carry all the charge from infinite now only we have to carry the charge from point A to point B then here is also little work done you should go about it so how will you explain this difference see amount of work done in moving you need charge that is one coulomb charge that is 6.25 into 10 raise to 18 electrons from point A to point B not from infinity from point A to point B is called as potential difference in between A to B so how will you define the potential difference see amount of work done to carry unit positive charge from point A to point B is called potential difference between A point A and B and this potential difference is directly proportional to work done. If you are doing work very fast, work done is faster than, then your potential difference is greater than. Then it is inversely proportional to charge. If charge load increases, work decreases. Load is you can carry heavy bags little distance only, but the easy bags or the lighter bags you can carry a lot or not. That means charge is more, work done is less. Charge is less, work done is more. That is, charge is, and like this one, charge is less, potential difference increases. Charge decreases, it increases. Charge increases, potential difference decreases. So, here potential difference is directly proportional to work done and potential difference is inversely proportional to charge. By combining both the equations, we are getting potential difference is equal to work done divided by charge because amount of work done to carry charge is called as potential difference. So finally, we are reaching the formula potential difference that is the holes is equal to V is equal to work done W divided by Q because potential difference is represented by V, work is represented by W and charge is represented by Q. So finally we are reaching one equation potential difference V is equal to W divided by Q. Now see potential difference is measured in holes in the order of whole tax. So SI unit of potential difference is hold. SI unit of work done is joule and SI unit of charge is coulomb. So hold is equal to W divided by Q means V is equal to J divided by C. Hold is equal to joule divided by coulomb. If you take one at, at each point, so one volt is equal to one joule divided by one coulomb. That means amount of work done is one joule and the charge carried is one coulomb then what should be potential difference one volt so how will you explain one volt see if one joule work has done work done is one joule and because of one joule work done how much charge has passed one coulomb means 6.25 into 10 is to 18 electron has carried done to carry one coulomb charge from point A to point B. You are at point A. All the electrons are at point B. You have done your electric work as a one joule and one coulomb charge means 6.25 into 10 to 18 electrons has carried. Then in between that point B and point A, there is a potential difference is of one volt. So charge from point A to point B, then potential difference between A and B is said to be 1 volt. So what is the SI unit of this potential difference? That is volt. So do we have the smallest? Yes, we have the 1 millivolt. 1 millivolt means what? 1000th one part of 1 volt. That is 1 millivolt is equal to 10 raise to minus 3 volt. Again, small units we having one micro volt. What is my micro volt? One thousandth part of one millivolt. That means 10 raise to minus 3 divided by 100,000 and that is 10 raise to minus 6 volt means one micro volt. 
which is the instrument by which we can measure this potential difference and the instrument is voltmeter there ammeter here voltmeter ammeter is connected in series but here voltmeter is always connected in parallel while connecting the